Dear students, welcome to my class. I hope you are enjoying and utilizing our prior classes online on different topics. Today I am here before you to conduct a class for you on your English second paper on topic preposition. I am Dick Balushan, a lecturer of English, Pandarban Cantonment Public School and College. Dear students, Uh, let me first make it clear to you what prepositions are. Uh, preposition is one of the parts of a speech. But don't get confused to differentiate between uh, preposition and conjunction. Prepositions are used to show relations between different parts of a speech used in a sentence and conjunctions are used to conjunct to join two or more than two sentences together for example if i say the book is the table it's not correct because as i told you that Prepositions shows relation between different parts of a speech used in a sentence. And so, so if I want to uh, make the meaning clear that where the book is, I need to write the book is on the table. Now it is correct. But when I say, I went home, father found me two sentences. So if I want to join these two sentences, conjunct to the, these two sentences, uh, I need to use a conjunction. I went home after father had found me. You see, uh, I went home and uh, father had phoned me. These two sentences are joined or conjuncted by a part of the called conjunction. So, don't uh, get confused between uh, the use of preposition and conjunction. Sometimes some prepositions, yeah, sorry, conjunctions are used as preposition, for example, after or then for example if i say i will go after hasan comes here two sentences are joined by the conjunction after but when i say i'll go after hasan or i'll go after evening here you see uh, after is used as preposition because uh, the word evening is joined with other part of speech through the use of after. So it is used as preposition. So these are the difference, uh, some difference you have to be careful when you use preposition. In, um, so students so generally we use preposition in two ways uh, according to me as I, so far as I understand. You see here some normal or usual or ordinary preposition and uh, an appropriate preposition. <coughs> Normal prepositions are there are you see here a number 150 by 70. Uh, there are uh, almost 150 uh, prepositions which we frequently used uh, and out of uh, 150 uh, we use 70 preposition most frequently in our day to day life, in our language, in our daily activities. So out of the 70 most appropriate you know, preposition, I have written here 35 prepositions for you. And in my next class is I will uh, discuss on some other prepositions, important prepositions for you. Uh, because of shortage of time uh, and of limitation of time and space, uh, I have written only uh, a small number of prepositions here. So I will be uh, discussing on this. Today. So 
So dear students, what you need to, prevention is very, uh, at the first glance, if you open your textbook, you will see hundreds and hundreds of prepositions, and you get frightened or you are intention how to cover this uh, topic. But one very interesting thing is that if you uh, practice with meaning, if you make sentences with their meaning, uh, Prepositions are automatically registered in your memory, in your brain, and you automatically learn. You just, what you need to do, just you make sentences with them, uh, with the meaning, and automatically you will be able to use or learn preposition. It is not like learning other rules of other uh, grammar. So it's very easy, in fact. So now, let's see if we. Uh, uh, if we divide the pronoun preposition according to the meaning, uh, it will be easier for us. For example, I have shown in the earlier preposition of movements. These prepositions are uh, prepositions of movement. And now, if I make sentence or if I know the meaning and make sentence at home, yeah, uh, it will be, and that is for some time, I think it will be uh, very easy for you. For example, two. If, I, if you make a sentence, I'm going to the market or I'm going to college, like that, uh, he, uh, he is coming from home, out of, he is out of home, and uh, in, he is in the college or in the market, uh, he is going to the house over, uh, there is a fan over my head, over my head, uh, under, uh, the, the cat is under the table or under the chair, uh, this, under the chair, so, so, I'm going through a forest, I'm going through a process, I'm going through a tunnel uh, or through a tube, a pipe or a tube, and the ant is uh, going through or uh, the snake is going through the tube like this. So along, along means if a, if a, there is a road of 10 kilometers and if you go from this end to the other end of the road, you go along the road. But if you go from this side to that side of the road, you go across. So remember the difference. Let us walk along the road. Let us go across the road along the road and across the from this side to this side round round the clock or uh, uh, round the house or round the corner up up in the sky there is a bird flying up in the sky it's very high one in this way you can see behind he is behind me behind behind me or the board is behind me and if I say in front of me, before me, the computer is in front of me, the students are in front of me, like that. Uh, so in that way, um, if you uh, make sentences with their meaning, uh, I think you will be able to understand the uh, topic better. So now dear students, let us see uh, what the favorite positions are. Huh? For example, look, we know what look means when it is about to stare at something. But when I change the preposition after the verb into look into, then it means uh, carrying out investigation. For example, the police is carrying out or uh, looking into the case. Uh, look for, to charge for something or someone, if I say I am looking for Hassan, that I am I'm searching for Hassan. Look after to to uh, look after means to take care of uh, someone. For example, you look after your father. So in this way, you say that we are running to run after, run away, run over, die for, die off, die in, die down, die about. Uh, all these uh, prepositions with their different meaning. So when what you need to do, the learn the preposition with the complete meaning. If you definitely certainly know what look into means, you will not confuse with look up. 
that means to charge for any words in the dictionary. Look up the word in the dictionary, for example. So if you learn them definitely. So now, you may ask me a question, sir, how can you do that? I'd like to suggest to you, go to your textbook, please. I, I, I'm going to send some homework here. And, and if you practice uh, those at home, I think it will be far much easier. But please, have patience with the topic. Because it is a lengthy topic. Though it is a lengthy, it is a vast topic, but uh, what uh, the interesting thing about preposition is that if you practice with the meaning, it, it, they automatically get registered in your memory, in your brain. You automatically learn. You don't need to learn them like other rules of grammar. So, dear students, uh, I hope uh, you have understood uh, what uh, I have told you in the class and I hope you will follow and exercise uh, on this, uh, on my lecture. I am almost at the end of my class, so let me suggest you some homework for, for you, for your father practice at home. Just let me see, here I have written uh, some for you, for you, please. Now that I have uh, sent you some homework from uh, the board questions of 2017, 2018 and 2019, uh, all books. So if you please, if you practice those, I hope you will understand the topic better. And I hope to be before you with uh, some one or two classes on the same topic the next time. So thank you very much for watching this class. Uh, please stay home and stay safe. Allah Hafiz.